I think talent hackers are quite interesting as a model. I mean, obviously they're not the typical recruitment process. Having a, a partner that you can rely on to do the job well and do it right is absolutely invaluable. I'm Martin, I run Education Shared. We are an education company. Our lead product is called Spelling Shared. We also have Math Shared, Phonics Shared and Quiz Shared. And they are all tools that kids love playing and that they learn lots from also. Hiring people at the right time for some functions, you know, you just have to get the right people and there's a lot to do. So, and like normal recruiters, they spend so much time just hassling everybody, sending you emails, telling you they've got candidates that you never asked for, pouncing on you, getting upset when you tell them to go away, that kind of thing. You know, they just they just waste so much time doing a job in such a you know quite a desperate way in some cases. And there are great recruitment companies out there, not you know, not to sort of do the entire industry a disservice. But with talent hackers, you pay less, but actually they're doing it better, so they're not having to put as much time and effort into sort of wasted processes. So you get, you know, a better result because it's just done in a better way. The way that Talent Hackers works, I guess, is that they're part of your company. For us, they have an email mailbox that is from our email domain, so, you know, overtly it's, it's sort of a temporary department of our company. The emphasis is on kind of being part of our team and working on what we need and understanding our business. That means that, you know, if they're part of the team, they, 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 they represent the same values. Then sort of being able to cooperate in terms of how we do shortlisting, how we do interviews, how we do assessment tasks, the communication to the candidates, all that sort of stuff, it just, it becomes a much tighter fit. But effectively being represented rather than sold a, a product, it just means that from a candidate's point of view, I think they get to feel, you know, what it's like to work for us because for certainly tech recruitment, it's a two-way street, you know, we're, we're, we're choosing them, but they're choosing us as well. And so being able to find that fit from both points of view, it's just so much easier if the recruiter is effectively part of our company, even if they're kind of bought in. We haven't lost anybody since we've since we've started sort of talent hackers hires or you know meant that we had good people and and they they helped the company grow and, and absolutely the you know strength of the company which i'm sure a lot of companies say is the the quality of the team has been absolutely crucial to to us being able to grow this past 12 18 months has been really busy we've grown like crazy with the pandemic it's been interesting since the beginning of the pandemic we've hired nine people you know which is what a nine month period so roughly a person a month but being able to find that volume of high quality people in a weird time like a pandemic and still grow and still do every, you know, everything else is really demanding. You know? So being able to have that partner that can deliver that for us, um, that's, been, that's been really powerful and really you know, crucial to us being able to sort of survive the, you know, the past weirdness this year's given us. So if I was to sum up Talent Hackers, I think for us there's kind of three particular benefits. One is that there's just a lot less hassle when I'm trying to recruit people. Two is we get a much better fit in terms of the candidates at the end. You know, we get the right people. And instead of just somebody who just can do the job, we get, you know, the right people. And three, it's just, it costs less. It just works in a more streamlined fashion. It's less hassle, better people, cost less, can't lose, can you really?